my life is pretty much in their hands when I walk through a body scanner with my insulin pump on. Right now, TSA investigating an incident involving this diabetic 16-year-old. It comes after Seven News started asking questions. The teen telling us she was forced to go through a full body scan, even though she wears an insulin pump. And now that pump no longer works. Only on 7 News, Amanda Koss questioning the training of TSA agents. Amanda? And we discovered a breakdown between TSA training, those policies, and then what's really happening in the field. A 16-year-old school trip to Salt Lake City, now overshadowed. I was humiliated, absolutely humiliated. By what happened before her flight home to Denver. I really felt like they brushed me off, like I said I have a letter, I mean I'm a diabetic, I know what I'm doing, and they were just like, no. Full body pat down or scan. Savannah Berry says she pointed to her insulin pump and a TSA agent directed her to the scanner. I was like, you know, are you sure? I usually have the pat down. I've always had the pad down, and she goes, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. She was ushered through the scan, but still had to go through a full body pat down because of fruit juice she had to control blood sugar levels. And at that point, I was really frustrated because what I really wanted was the pat down in the first place. I can assure you she's not going to blow up a 737 with an insulin pump and three Capri Sun juice. From anger to concern, Sandra Berry learned her daughter's $10,000 insulin pump now broken. And my heart just sank because I know how expensive they are. I knew how upset she would be. And I knew that I had to be the one when I got to DIA to tell her. Seven News first started asking questions in 2011 when this diabetic traveler claimed TSA confiscated her insulin vials. We found TSA policy clearly states passengers have a right to fly with their insulin and a right to opt for a pat down. So why the confusion? In a statement to 7 News, TSA says it works regularly with a broad coalition of advocacy groups representing passengers with disabilities and medical conditions. So we checked with the American Diabetes Association. These aren't isolated incidences. They are occurring across the country, and we think that a way of ending that is to have better training by the by TSA. It's a solution even a teenager understands. TSA especially needs to be educated because my life is pretty much in their hands when I walk through a body scanner with my insulin pump on. Well, after 7 News started asking questions, the TSA reached out to Savannah. Now, they've yet to connect, but she does have a new pump. It was donated by the maker Animus. Reporting live outside DIA, Amanda Cost, 7 News.